Uh, here we go. This is a nightmare again. Oh, my lovely lady burning. Brings a tear to my eye. Oh, shit! Rare, rare. Oh! Some little titties there. Going to grave. Burning ring of fire. <laughs> Almost messed up the lyrics there. Day six. And then the night became his day. I glimpsed nature's red as claw. The face of fear looked back at me as I gazed into the mall. Ah! Oh, damn! What is it? What's wrong? Gabriel? I see it, Grace. Hold on. There's no one in the shop, and I know there's no one in back. It's okay. Okay? Gabriel, that thing is still barely alive. How could someone do this? With a knife, maybe? God, don't even start. We should call the police. No. I'll take care of it. But Gabriel... I said I'll take care of it. Why don't you go get some coffee? I'll have it all cleaned up before you get back. Oh, they know where you live now. Shh. It's gonna be fine. Now go on. Later. Are you sure you don't want to go home? I could close the shop today. No. I'd rather keep busy. I'll be fine. At least that creepy guy is gone. Oh, not that they aren't still watching. Anyway, speaking of keeping busy, we got that book you ordered in this morning. The one on Rada drums. Really? Great! Alright, cool. What the? Gabriel! I see it. Stay back! It's just an envelope. I can see that. Let's hope there's no, uh, deadly chemical when I open this envelope. The envelope is unmarked. Gabriel opens the envelope and finds a note from Mosley and a small brass key. Oh. The key has property of the New Orleans Police Department stamped on it. Right. Not anymore. Mosley's note says, Gabe. I have to go underground with this thing. It runs wide and deep throughout the department and the city board. I'm already being watched. It was suggested I take vacation time, so I am. At least as far as they know. Try to keep out of this. It's too hot for a rookie. Just in case, I'm sending you my office key. You might find some useful things there. P.S. I think this note will look great in the book, don't you? Make sure you save it. The note is signed, Detective Mosley. The book contains several pages of Radar drum code. Yeah, I think we need to. So we need to go to one of the drummers in the in the. Uh, Jackson Square, and then use translate the rod of drops on him. But anyway, let's read the newspaper real quick. We've got time for that. Times Picayune, dated the 23rd of June, 23rd 1993. Gabriel finds an article about Saint Jean's Eve. It discusses the day's Catholic roots 
and its adoption by voodoo devotees. In the early to mid-1800s, St. Jean's Eve was celebrated with elaborate voodoo gatherings at Lake Pontchartrain, Bayou St. Jean, and other sites outside the city. These days, the day is commemorated commercially in some of the local shops, and a few churches still hold a St. Jean's Eve Mass. Despite his better judgment, Gabriel reads his horoscope. Today you will either die or your life will change forever. Sure, why not? It is St. John's Eve. They'll be out tonight for sure. But where? But where? Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Nope. Are you gonna be okay here by yourself? I'll, I'll, I'll be just, just fine. Just fix this, okay? I'm trying, Gracie. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Knight. The voodoo churches in the city have no need for secrecy. Do you know anything about Vevez? I believe they have something to do with Haitian voodoo, but that is not really my area. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Of course. It is one of the lore. Are you sure you don't know anything about Ogun Badagri? I am afraid I have little else to say about that subject. Do you know Malia Getty? Should I? She referred me to your museum. Many have read about our museum in the newspapers, Mr. Knight. That's a good point. Mm, okay. Alright, guess we'll head out. We'll come back here later. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. Um, <clears throat> we, we don't have a uh, Detective Mosley here. What? I've seen him all week. Oh. Listen to what I'm saying. We don't have a Detective Mosley on the force. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Bunch of crazies out there on St. John's Eve, that's what. We're busy all night. Really? What kind of crazies? Uh, your usual howl at the mooners, I guess. They don't look no weirder than them that comes in during Mardi Gras. Never can tell, though. Do you know anything about animal masks? I see plenty of masks during Mardi Gras. Not many animals, though. Of course, uh, there's plenty of animals underneath. Tell me about yourself. Who, me? I'm the Death Sergeant Frick, why? Frick? That's right. You got a problem with that? No, Frick. Not at all. Go Frick yourself. <laughs> I think we should talk about what's going on around here, Officer Frick. I don't want to hear it, Mr. Knight. Now do yourself a favor and keep your nose out of here. Okay then. Alright, so you heard... If you don't remember, he mentioned something about... Um, this... Food... Uh, I forgot the name of it, but there's some guy that comes out with the food... Um, Usually by the police station, he's upset and then he doesn't come by here often. So we're just gonna go to Jackson Square and uh, talk to that guy. 
Hello. What can I do for you, sir? What happened to the guy who used to be here? The lucky dog guy? Um, I took over his spot. Say, haven't I seen you before? I get around the French Quarter. Used to be at Royal and Conti. You say you used to be at Royal and Conti? That's right. Why'd you leave Royal and Conti? Well, the guy who used to be here, the lucky dog guy, uh, he was my cousin Ralph. He went off to college, see, and this spot came open. I thought Jackson Square'd be a better gig, you know? Tourists and all. Is it? Well, uh, no, actually. Why don't you go back there? Do you think? I, I, I've been kind of torn. Must be the weather. These thick clouds we've had all week. I'm just not seeing the crowds here that I expected. I definitely think you should go back to Royal and Conti. Really? I'm glad you think so. I always liked that beat, but I thought I ought to give this a shot. Oh, absolutely. The grass is always greener. Exactly. You're right. I'm going back over there today. All right. So let's go back to the police station. There he is. Hey, it's a beignet guy. He's back. Where? Oh, these guys must really love beignet. <laughs> yeah, he's going out too. <laughs> Grab me three or four, would ya? Forget it, I'm broke. Rats. Rats! You stay put. I'll be back in a minute. I'm feeling hungry for a beignet right now, whatever that is. But, uh, yeah. Let's go into, uh, Mosley's office. Oh, wait, hold on. We need the key. The door is locked. Yeah. So, we're gonna use the key that Mosley gave us. Now, uh, gotta check behind these, uh, one of these desks here. <laughs> the desk is bad enough on the outside. It's definitely a <laughs> voice actor making that sound. There's a tracking device in the drawer. Alright, we're gonna need that. This tracker might come in handy. We have uh, all of it? Yeah, we have all of it. Alright, uh, I think that's... Yeah, that's all we have to... Um, we have to, All we have to get from Mosley's office is that a tracking device. Hey, get out of there, you. Sorry, just looking for a restroom. Excuse me? Now, uh, we go back to the Voodoo Museum. Now, uh... There's a little coffin here, the Seike uh, do whatever it's called. Uh, we just put one of the tracking devices here. Gabriel slips the signal device into the Seike module. Can I assist you, Mr. Knight? Hmm? No, just looking. Now, if only they take the coffin to the ritual. Alright, let's set up. I hate to rush you, Mr. Knight, but I am afraid I must close the museum early this evening. This is St. John's Eve, and it's getting on towards dusk. I have things I must do. I see. No problem. I'll just leave. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. May the spirits guard you well tonight. Mm-hmm. Let's go to Jackson Square and uh, translate that drama guy real quick. Now this one uh, took me a while to get the pattern down. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to get to, but once you get it, uh, eventually, then uh, if you keep up with it, you'll, you'll get the 
translation eventually, but it's really annoying. Definitely hearing the drums the entire time can be nauseating at best. Yeah, we, I think we need to use this and then on him. Gabriel mm -hmm. listens carefully to the drums and opens his radar book to translate. The radar book to translate. Oh no, this is this is a sound I was talking about. This one's much worse than the beating of the drums you heard out here. Uh, oh damn. I try listening to this while translating this shit. Yeah, so it's called King Clive. Uh, it's, it's like something, something tonight. Or bring. Yeah, so. I think it's tonight. Um. Uh, yeah, this, this is such a pain in the ass. Hold on. I'm gonna restart this over. Yeah, Alright. So I know it's. Sometimes it, it like randomizes each time. Uh, it's like you gotta find the outlier in this like pattern, and sometimes it's a pain to like, you know, especially like flipping through this shit. Alright, so call Conclave tonight. Uh, I was saying, t no, not tomorrow night. It's, it's not C. Oh, swamp. It's a nice mm. swamp. If Gabriel's translation of the drum code is correct, there'll be a conclave tonight in the swamp. That must be the bayou. Alright, I think that's it. Let me get these new marks down. It's Gabriel's sketch of the new series of crosses from the Laveau tomb wall. Gabriel checks the two messages for duplicate symbols and transfers the letters from the matches to the new message. He finds that he has the translation for all of the symbols, except for three. This is the this grace act. So I think he got all of them except for three letters, which I think are Y, E, and M or something. They're they're, they're not too hard to figure out if um, if you read the the sentences of the word. That's I wasn't able to figure it out until like I looked through like a walkthrough and I was like, oh, I get it. But anyway, we'll just uh, wait for this guy to go, to go away, because we're gonna write a new message on here instead of what was whatever was written on there. Probably like bring cocaine or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe I could read the translation from 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 the notes. Maybe we could read that message from the translation. We just need this guy to go away. All right, there he goes now. I think I'll leave a message of my own. Hey there. So instead of hearing me rabble on while I try to solve this puzzle in an uneventful way. I decided to do this little recording, uh, Spoonie style. So, anyway, so what you're doing here is, um, writing to uh, Dr. Johns, and, um, of course in, in this, uh, translated, um, message here, 
DJ refers to Dr. Johns, obviously. So, so you want to bring the uh, Seke Majule uh, device, or the not the device, the coffin, uh, where you put the uh, tracking device in there. You want um, Dr. Johns to bring the Seke to the meeting, the, the secret meeting. So, um, but like you can't just write like DJ brings Seke like, a uh, module device to Swamp or something. That's a, it's a secret place. You don't want to make it too obvious. So you can't just write DJ. You have to write DJ Conclave because in in I, so I looked it up. Conclave means uh, a secret meeting or a place of the meeting because obviously this is a private meeting anyway. So. So what is so what you're basically writing is uh, Dr. John's conclave, or you know, in a meeting uh, tonight, uh, bring Seke Module, and that's about it. And of course, um, if you looked at the missing letters, uh, like if you could tell through the sentence, it says uh, DJ keep eyes. So the missing word there is why uh keep eyes on j g k uh so they mean so we're referring to gabriel knight uh but and the missing word here is you but do not harm and m is the missing letter so um if you got that down it's not too hard of a puzzle i don't think if um if you read through the sentences and you know like what to write uh, especially like with the drums as you say they say like call conclave um so as long as you remember you, you get what you're doing uh you just write like dj conclave uh, tonight bring set game module and all that and it, it's not too hard but it's not like too too uh easy either it, it takes a little working around the uh, gray cells to figure this puzzle out. Yeah, I got that right, I think. So, DJ Conclave, tonight bring CK module. It should be good. Yep. Pleased with his message, Gabriel tosses the breakdown. Now, if only DJ reads it in time. All right. Um, so one more thing to do before we head into the swap meeting is go back to the bookshop and, um, oh, wait, so we just talk to uh, Grace and tell her to paint a snake tattoo on us. What we saw with the, I forgot that dude's name already, the, the junkie kid, he had a snake symbol on him, so we're gonna have a tattoo painting on our uh, on our chest uh, we're gonna have grace to do that will you do me a favor what use your paints to copy this snake tattoo onto my chest now why on earth would you want me to do that i'm going to a party tonight costume you know you don't say I guess you're going with Malia. Uh, yeah. That's right. And why should I help you out when I don't even like Malia? Well, if you're jealous about my feelings for her... You know that's not it. I just think, as your friend, that she's trouble. She's it's probably understandable. Up, do, do. I know you have certain oh, feelings for she me. Come. Quite naturally. Me? I would rather be hung by my hair over a bed of scorpions. I know it must be hard having it in your face like this. No chance to avoid hearing about it, seeing it day by day. Fine, I'll do it. Just shut up. Can we at least go in the back? Sure, but could you say that one more time and pout your lips more? Ugh. 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 What did I say? Ding, 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 ding. 
getting a tattoo from Grace. All right, let's go. The shirt, please. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this moment. Now. Hold still. Maybe you'd like to tie me up? One more remark and I'm leaving. Okay, okay. Done. It's just wow, that was quick. Sorry I couldn't make it last longer. Well, it was about what I expected from you. Uh, alright, I think that's it. Now, to the party! I'm going out. See ya! Wouldn't wanna be ya! Now, uh... We're gonna bring out our, uh... Oh, this this track is awesome. All right, so we're, gonna, we're gonna grab the um, use this uh, radar detection device and uh, use it to find the uh, swap meeting. Gabriel pulls out the tracking device, hoping that the Shaky Madule made it to the ritual and that this thing will work. All right, there's a blip. They must be here with the Seike Madule. So, we just basically follow the blip by the directions we take in the swamp. I don't think you get lost automatically if you, um... Like, there's no, like, pattern to it. It isn't, like, an ocarina of time with the, uh, the forest in the... Kokiri Forest or whatever in the, that place. So there's, you don't have to worry about like getting instantly lost if you don't take the right path and then starting from the beginning over. But uh, you will, you will need to use a tracking device in order to find the uh, the meeting in the swamp to make it easier on yourself. Obviously. Gero hopes this tracking thing is working correctly. So we just keep going right. So now it's up there, so we just go up. Gabriel can barely focus on the LED with those drums in his head. He hopes he's reading it correctly. Alright, so I think we're getting closer. Gabriel feels so turned around. Is this thing working? Is this working? Jesus, calm down, lady. Alright. Take a few more steps and we should be outside the meeting. Damn Mosley and his infernal machine. This better be working. Gabriel hopes this tracking thing is working correctly. Right, I think. Now we go up. There we go. Alright, so we just don't want to head in there. Uh, right away. So what we're gonna do is uh, undress ourselves. You've already got me, you lucky devil. Not like that. Undress, for God's sake. If I want to open up, I'll go to a shrink. Okay, that's not what I meant. Uh, what do I do? Uh, oh, maybe we we just put the you know, mask on first. There we go. When in Rome. And he'll just undress. Okay, never mind. <laughs> My bad. Here goes All right. nothing. Now we're in the meeting. Oh, titties. Welcome, brother crocodile. Please join the other celebrants. Yes, Doctor John. Uh, brother Eagle. But first. Name the great serpent who crushes all in his coils. All right, if you remember uh, who it is, then you know it's Dambala. Dambala. You are correct, brother crocodile. Who is the destroyer of men? This one I kind of. Yeah. So it's the other one is Ugan Badagri. Ogun, Ogun Badagri. Badagri. You are correct, Brother Crocodile. Enjoy yourself well tonight. Chickens fucking playing around and blood soaking out of them. Everybody. 
Mafia the chickens. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? It's all coming together. Uh, yeah, good time to take your mask off. Oh my god! Malia. Ugh, crazy eyes over here. I can smell his blood in your veins. No. You cannot change your destiny for ours. No. I will fight. I will destroy you. No! No, I don't want to be turned into voodoo chop suey. Where is your necklace now, witch hunter? Where are your pretty, pretty gems? Er, I'll just lay in this rough patch of grass here. <laughs> Ooh, holy shit! Day seven. My last ally lay to waste. I ran towards a lie. I pray for one to change my path, to give me the strength to fight. Gabriel! Gabriel, wake up! Err, uh, my aching head. Ow, my head. It's about time. I've been trying to wake you for hours. There's no time to lose. I had another dream. It wasn't a dream, believe me. Now come on, get dressed. Wait a minute. I'm starting to remember. Something about Malia. She's the head priestess of the voodoo cartel. They're responsible for the murders. They've been doing it for years. Malia? Last night she was the leopard. Like in my dreams, Grace. I know. Those dreams were a warning. Now come on, get dressed. I'm already dressed. But Chill. last night, Malia changed. She became someone, something else. And then I blacked out, I think. How did I get home? I followed you last night. I had my doubts about the Gettys. Did you know that they arrived in New Orleans in 1800? Just in time for the voodoo influx. I knew you were going to try to sneak into a ceremony last night, so I followed you. Lucky for you that I did. If you'd been left at the circle last night, I don't know what Sarah, she would have done to you. You're badass out of you're there. <laughs> Malia wouldn't hurt me. What about Tetalo? Tetalo? They were chanting that last night. That's the name from Gunter's journal. The woman who took the talisman. Yes. Gabriel, it's your destiny you're facing. You can't just blunder your way through this or you'll end up dead. Tedalo will be after you now. You have to call your great uncle in Germany. Uncle Wolfgang? Yes. He knows more about this than we do. Okay. I'll call him. But Malia isn't responsible for those things, Christ. It's that spirit, that Loa. It's Tetalo. Yeah. Possession is convenient that way. Call Wolfgang, Gabriel. I'll be in the shop. Alright, uh, well before we do that, let's just read our newspaper. Times Picayune, dated June 24th, 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murders case in the papers today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou Saint-Jean last night. 
Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's the ghost of Marie uh. Lavo. The paper relates to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel's horoscope today reads, Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight and when to get the hell out of dodge. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. Uh, whoever he is. Alright, let's call uh, Uncle Ritter. You've already got me, you look. the phone. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, what, what's this phone number again? Okay, four... Nine? I think he figured this out by now, so, so like, you wanna have to keep dialing the same damn number. This is Gabriel Knight. Can I speak to Wolfgang, please? Yeah, Herr Knight. Ein moment, bitte. Gabriel, it's so good to hear your voice. I had such a dream last night. There's a good reason for that, Uncle Wolfgang. We need to talk. Gabriel fills in Wolfgang on the events of the previous evening. Ugh, oh, it is even worse than I thought. You bet it is. We have to talk about what I'm supposed to do. What can you tell me about New Orleans? It was just another American city to me until I started dreaming about you. Now I feel it is not safe for you there. I wish you would leave. Do you know anything about snakes? I have not studied the subject. I have an intense dislike for them. Do you have any idea what Cabri sans cœur means? No, what does it mean? It means goat without horns. It's a term used for human sacrifice in voodoo. Well, let's hope we can avoid any more of that in this family. Do you know anything about Veves? It is a visual symbol of one or more lore. Each lore has its own sign, which is used to summon it. I've heard rumors of a secret hound fool here in New Orleans. Yeah, I am sure they have a temple there, and probably a very elaborate one. You should not go near it, though. Not alone. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Dambala is a snake. He is a loa, a voodoo god. Yes, he's one of the primary loa of the Getty tribe. I see. Good work. That information might prove useful. Does the name Ogun Badakri mean anything to you? It is a voodoo loa, is it not? Yes, a particularly nasty one, so I understand. Have you come across anything about it in your research? He seems to be feared by most voodoo groups. I haven't come across very much specific information. What can you tell me about Shatten Jaegers? Yes, of course. I sometimes forget how little you know of the family, Gabriel. I never understood how Heinz could allow his sons to remain ignorant. But now is not the time for that discussion. Schattenjäger is really two words in English, Gabriel. Schatten means shadow, and Jäger means hunter. Shadow hunter? Yes. Shadow hunter. Yeah, shadow hunter. So that means that um, the Ritter family, uh, Gabriel's family, are basically like witch hunters and monster hunters. And, you know, they hunt, you know, the supernatural, like, you know, monsters and uh, people who use witchcraft or are witches and all that stuff. Do you know anything about Radha drums? Radha drums? You mean ceremonial drums? Yes. The Getty tribe uses drummers around the French Quarter as relay messengers to keep track of their business. Hmm. Those drums have a ceremonial use, too. 
It would be useful to know their code, Gabriel. I had Grace find some information on them. That's my boy. Tell me about yourself. I hope there will be time for that later, Gabriel, after this is all over. For now, we must deal with the matter at hand. Alright, let's talk about Tetelo. Tell me about Tetelo. Well, from your description of the ritual last night, I'd say that Gunther's mistress, Tetelo, is now the primary lower for the Geddy tribe. It seems she still controls them by possessing her female descendants and speaking through them. Do you remember in Gunther's journal he said that Tetelo was possessed by her father's lower during the killings in Charleston? This sounds similar, but Tetelo has obviously become a much more powerful lower than her father ever was. Probably because of the added power of the talisman. Tell me more about Tetelo. I believe she truly loved Gunther. After all, she was raised to be her father's daughter. Their religion was not a choice she made, but a duty she endured. How can she be blamed for that? The spirit she has become, that is a different matter. It is utterly evil. I am certain that the lower Tetler bears little resemblance to the woman Tetler was before the burning in Charleston. Tell me more about Tetelo. She once was a beautiful and intelligent woman, and she probably did not deserve Gunther's betrayal. But the Tetelo we fight now is more akin to her tribe's dark gods than to anything human in nature. Let's talk about the talisman. <sighs> I myself have only seen it in old sketches and paintings, and in my dreams. It was in the family for centuries before Tetelo took it. It is believed to be as old as the role of Chatanieda itself. The talisman has genuine power. I don't know how or why, but it is so. The Chatanieda swore to use the power for good, never for evil. For defense, not offense. Since it fell into Tetler's hands, I'm afraid to think what the power has been used for, or what it will be used for in the future. With the talisman, Tetler has all the power and we none. The only possible way to fight her is to regain the talisman. Then we will at least be on more equal footing. How can we regain the talisman? We've been searching for the talisman for years, ever since we lost it. It's a terrible thing to know that something powerful that was entrusted to us is in the wrong hands. The talisman is probably buried with Tetelo's remains. That's what gives her lore so much power. Is there anything else you can tell me about the talisman? The most important thing about the talisman is that it be once again in the hands of the Schattenjägers. How would we find Tetelo's remains? Ha! We have pondered that question a long time, the Ritas. There are two probabilities. The first is that her remains are with the tribe at their current location. The other is that the remains were returned to a sacred place near the tribe's original homeland. We've tried to locate Tetelo's African homeland, but Gunther says so little in his journal about her tribe, and slaving records are practically non-existent. Also, Tetelo's tribe was utterly destroyed in its African form in the late 17th century. There was nothing like a census in Africa then. As for the other idea, we had no clue as to where Tetelo's people went after fleeing Charleston, until now. Let's discuss the possible African homeland. All right. Have you learned anything that might help us locate it? I spoke with the Professor Hartridge. Unfortunately for him, he thinks the tribe's name was Agri, and that they lived near the Fon tribe in what is now called the People's Republic of Benin. That is incredible, Gabriel. I must go research this new information in my library right now. Wait, what should I do? Stay low. If you get a chance, you might look into the possibilities that Tetler's remains are somewhere in New Orleans. But don't try to broach their private areas without my assistance, Gabriel. You will make a fine Schattenjäger, but only if you are not dead. Sure, I'll wait. Bye, then, Gabriel. And remember, 
If you need a place of safety, come to Schloss Ritter. Goodbye, Uncle Wolfgang. All right. So now what? All right. So remember that um, Getty tomb in the cemetery? We're gonna head over there, seeing if we can uh, open it. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. Ah, so I left this uh, button lying around here. The plate's already up, and Gabriel doesn't want to put it back down. All right, we're just what's this? boop. What? Uh. The faint sound of breaking glass. What the heck? Damn. You'd think there'd be a light. Yeah. All right. And that's where the flashlight comes in handy. Ooh. There's broken glass on the floor. Oops. Oh, damn. Someone's broken the light in here. No wonder it's so dark. Huh. I mean, no one in here. So we're gonna look in one of these. Shit, I dropped my flashlight. Huh? Oi! Sometime later. Ouch, my head. What the hell was that? Oh, God. We got a zombie mostly on the loose. There's a wallet in the drawer. It must have fallen from Mosley's jacket when the body was moved. Gabriel can't do that in the dark. Alright, I think there's nothing else to do here besides looking through some of these dead bodies, so uh I'm just gonna head out of here. At least we got Mosley's wallet. It's a man's wallet. Uh, it's Mosley's wallet. There's nothing written on the wallet. Gabriel opens the wallet and finds some ID belonging to Mosley and an American's repressed <laughs> card. Mosley's American's repressed card. Credit. <laughs> what a concept. Where have you been? I was worried about you. For good reason, apparently. What happened? Do, do you need a doctor? Nothing you want to know about, and no, just some aspirin. Gabriel, this is nuts. You have to get out of New Orleans. No kidding. Well, listen. Wolfgang called while you were out. He said, and I quote, Tell Gabriel that I found what I was looking for. It's time for me to do my duty. Schloss Ritter is his now. Now, call me crazy, but I don't think that's good news. Not for Uncle Wolfie, no. What are you going to do? If I figure it out, I'll let you know. Yeah, so... Remember this note right here? Or uh, this little uh, note that Grace gave us uh, a couple of days ago? So there's this thing here called... In C, called the World Travel Agency. So we're going to call them and make a trip to... Uh, Riddersburg, Germany. Alright. So the number is... Five. 
No, I gotta turn on this shit. Five eight five. Uh, one one B zero. Hello. See the world oh, travel see agency. The wor <laughs> How may I help you? Uh, puns. All right. Uh, what are your specials? What are your specials? Two weeks in India for two thousand rupees. Well, that's certainly special. Uh-huh. Is there something else I can help you with? How much for a trip to Rittersburg, Germany? Rittersburg, Germany? Hold on, let me look that up. I can fly you into Munich. That's the closest airport to Rittersburg. You can rent a car from there, or take the train. Let's see. The best price I can see for the flight is $1,400. What would you like to Probably do? Probably up that price um, by now. Uh, so we're going to use Mosley's credit card. Uh, I'm sure he won't mind. Charge it to my Americans repressed. Yes, sir. And your name was? Mosley. Feeling a little guilty. Gabriel gives the travel agent Mosley's card number and is informed that he can pick up his ticket at the New Orleans International Airport. All right. Looks like we're going to Germany. Guess what? I'm going to Germany. Really? That's great, but how on earth could you afford? A man's got to do what a man's got to do. Oh, my God. I wouldn't like the sound of that even if you were a man. I miss you too, Grace. Bye, Gracie. Good luck. Let me know what's going on, will you? Of course. All right, to the airport. Gabriel picks up his tickets at the airport and boards a plane for Munich. Bam, 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 bam,